You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for Atheist voices all around the globe. Hello, my name is T, and my journey toward atheism started when I was a child. I realized fairly quickly that many people were running towards churches and other religious institutions to sit in the congregation and make the pastors, priests, and other leaders very rich. While the members of the congregation remained very poor, the ones who struggled the most were the ones who needed the help the most. The people who seemed to get the biggest blessings were the ones who gave the most money to leadership. The leadership lived like royalty, nice houses, cars, private schools for their children, but the congregation struggled horribly with working nine to five, paying large amounts of taxes, and stressing to pay everyday bills. It caused them great trauma and depression, so much so that I had to start a depression and trauma group on Meetup just to help people. Who suffered the most? Again, everyday, hardworking, middle-class people and lower-class people. It's my life's work now to help people that struggle. Again, what led me towards atheism? Women were told they were a lesser quality. Your value was staying home, having children, and allowing a man to run around and have sex with whoever he wanted while you forgave him repeatedly in the hopes of just dying and going towards heaven one day, which would cure all of life's ailments. Also, if you spoke against the church in any way or started to challenge any of the beliefs and a demand to get answers, you were labeled a problem immediately. You were just to pray about your situations and hope that they would get better. Also, again, you would be forgiven if you were a man, but a woman, you had to prove that you were of a man's worth so that he would marry you and hopefully take care of you, which almost never happens. Very rarely does that happen. And if you dare leave the church, you are now a problem. You are not to be supported. You are not to be helped. You are to be excommunicated with. You are not to receive support from any religious institution once you walk away and try to seek solid answers. You are now an enemy and you are interfering with the agenda of the church. If you just sit down, be quiet and pray and do not question any leadership, you will receive a paradise at the end after you die. But the rich people and the leadership in the church, they get their paradise right now. Again, I ask a pastor, a pastor who's a family member in my church if he would help me with a difficult situation that I was having where a gentleman was harming me and he was hitting me and beating me for no reason and I was trying to get away from this person and he would continue to, to abuse me and I wanted to get away. That same pastor ransacked the church and he slept with every person he could get his hands on. Once he realized that I was never going to sleep with him, and I do mean never, he magically stopped his prayers for me. Interesting. The church continued to protect him, saying he asked for forgiveness. He was prayed for, so he was forgiven for all the, da the damage that he had done in that church. All of it. No, I don't believe that any of these religions know what they're talking about. There's no proof to any of them. Go back and look at the original prophets. You will see that there is some truth in regards to how you should live a better life. Maybe you shouldn't drink. Maybe you shouldn't smoke. Maybe you should not have multiple sexual partners. Those activities are unhealthy. So the religious institutions have a great standing in that capacity. But when it comes to deep down understanding of why are you giving so much money to these churches, knowing you cannot pay your own bills, and what are these churches doing with all of this money that they're being given? Are they helping anyone in the community besides having a little Sunday dinner? handing out sandwiches to the homeless that you ultimately provide. And wake up and realize that if your blessing is after your death, take a good look and see that the leadership in the church, they're getting their blessings right now. Why is there a double standard there? Ask yourself, why isn't your blessing right now? And where does it say in that book to, for your religious institution that you're not allowed to receive your blessings right now? I ask myself these questions. I ask the religious institution leaders these questions. There was no answer. That led me toward believing there's a higher power somewhere that created all of this. But it is not in any of these religions that we all hold truth. Hello, 
Hello. Good morning. And I'm Daniel Asamoa from Africa, Ghana. I've been there a witness of the reality. And as, as a mature follower of the ATS Republic, I've come to realize that will be, there will be only hope if I consult you concerning my current situation. And I want you to further know me more by viewing this my donation platform and also my page which linked me to my page i'll be very much grateful hi my name's tom i'm uh just about 50 uh live in maryland and uh my path to atheism started when I was about six or so. I had a babysitter who uh, would threaten me with uh, going to hell and seeing the devil and all that because I was making fart noises or something like that. And it was right about that time that I started questioning all of this and saying, you know, why are you threatening me with all this if your God is supposed to be an all loving sort of guy? And uh, it just kind of went on from there. I tried uh, church camp, church, uh, what do you call it, youth group, things like that. And by the time I was 18, I realized that I, I, had, I want no part of this. I didn't believe in it. I didn't believe in the texts that they were uh, uh, giving me to read. I didn't believe in the Bible. And uh, don't get me wrong, I knew a lot of great people in, in my church uh, when I was growing up. But by the time I was of age, I um, realized it was all a farce. And so I'm glad to have found you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, I've taken a little bit of guff from some other people for being atheist. I was in the Army for a number of years, a uh, high religious population there. Um, and I was always the guy getting singled out for not going to chapel or whatever, or seeing the chaplain and so forth. And, um, you know, I just lived it and uh, came to the realization that that's not where I belong. And I just want to do good for other people. And uh, as everybody else out there is, you know, you don't have to be uh, religious to have good morals, uh, good qualities, uh, and care about your fellow humans. You don't have to have religion for it. Thank you very much. Appreciate what you do. Have a great night. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.